I grow weary of the struggle. So many tours of duty now, they can't be counted, or even distinguished, one for another. Many of us have been here since the war started. We were young and idealistic. I look around me now. I see cynical faces, old before their time. Yes, Virginia, there is a war on Christmas, and we are losing it, losing it badly. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. A few new recruits are moving up to the front. They look so young. Kids who weren't even born when the conflict began. They have no memory of a time when Christmas and the other holidays existed in harmony each within its own allotted place on the calendar. During the first week of December, the Sears Roebuck catalog came out. That signaled the beginning of the season. Presents were ordered, shipped, and wrapped. Stockings were hung, carols were sung, eggs were nogged, and it was all done within the two weeks allotted. Santa worked quickly and efficiently, and then he had time to relax. Near the end of the last century, things began to change. Christmas began to creep back toward the beginning of December. It moved slowly at first, the kind of motion you would only detect out of the corner of your eye. And then, like the blob in that early Steve McQueen movie, it began to pick up pace. it could have been stopped with early intervention. Hindsight is 2020. We tried appeasement instead. It took winter solstice and we gave it up without a fight. We surrendered Pearl Harbor Day and missed the symbolism entirely. We set up our defenses along the Black Friday line. Surely, with Thanksgiving at our back, this position could be held. We got complacent, took our eye off the ball. Christmas outflanked us. It ran across the open ground between Thanksgiving and Halloween, like a horde of Mongols across the Asian steppes. Thanksgiving was thrown into the dustbin of history, along with Candlemas and Talk Like a Pirate Day. We have stopped it at Halloween, but there is little optimism these lines can be held. Our ramparts of molding hay bales and rotting pumpkins are reinforced with the bones of plastic skeletons. The symbolism all too obvious this time. We know that Christmas is out there in the darkness, waiting. The drums have started. It will be coming soon. It won't be long now. The constant drone of the drums is having its effect on the young recruits. But I no longer hear it. My mind blocks it out. If Christmas breaks through the Halloween lines, the consequences will be dire. There'll be nothing to stop it until the 4th of July. And I shouldn't expect much resistance from the 4th. Everybody will be out at the lake. From there, it will be a straight shot to Easter. Rather than fight each other, like Godzilla and King Ghidra, Christmas and Easter could join forces. There's a lot to suggest that they might. They have a mutual fondness for clashing colors, red and green, purple and yellow, and for disturbing imagery. If Christmas and Easter join forces, form an alliance, there will be little hope left. Once Christmas gets past Easter and links up with the January white sails, all is lost. We will have to listen to Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, day in, day out, 24-7, 365. <laughs>